Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts, and today I am making a beautiful card from start to finish. I will be sure to link all the gorgeous products I use from Wild Orchid Crafts down in the description box, as well as over on my blog. So check the description box for more information. Here I'm just going through what supplies I have. This is a beautiful sentiment I printed out from my computer. It says, be your own kind of amazing, and I cut three of them out to give myself a little bit of dimension. I use my Cameo to cut them out. My card front will be five by six in white. This beautiful matte piece is four and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then I designed a bracket edge piece, four and a half by five and a half, and I cut three of them out from my Cameo to give it some dimension. And then a matte piece of that that is four and a quarter by five and a quarter. So I, I, sized my mat pieces down one quarter inch each and I'm going to cut out the card base I'm using a 12 by 12 piece of paper cutting it in half to 6 by 12 no excuse me I cut it to 5 by 12 my card will end up being 5 by 6 so I scored it at 6 right in the middle I'm using my Teflon bone folder to give it a good crease and again my card base now is 6 by 5 I did cut out that first matte piece to cover the entire front of my card. I just wanted to give it a little bit more stability because the card base I'm using is 65 pound weight, which is a nice weight, but it's not real um, thick. So I just added a piece to the front and using my ATG, I'm just adding my matte layer piece down. And this gorgeous paper I've had in my stash for quite a while. If I can find out who makes it, I will be sure to link it down in the description box. I was actually using scraps that I had. So now I'm going to layer those three bracket edge pieces together. This I just wanted to give it some dimension to my card. Again, just using my ATG to do so. And now I'll mat on the last decorative piece. I wanted an encouragement card for a friend, so I thought that sentiment on the front is just gorgeous. And I'm using some Fabri-Tac to adhere the three layers together to give it dimension like I mentioned. The Be Your Own Kind of Amazing, I just used a sentiment that I purchased from the online silhouette store, and I colored in the word amazing from one of the colors of that scrap paper. Here I'm showing you, I decided to cut out another piece of scrap paper. I did not measure it. I'm gonna guess that it's probably two by four if I had to guess, and I cut a white mat for it as well. And I also had two little pieces of the scrap paper that you'll, that you'll see me add to this heart frame in just a moment. These are the mixed corner frames or the mixed frames from Wild Orchid Crafts. I love using those. I also pulled out a few laces and absolutely love this white cotton lace. I was going to add it to the edge of this scrap piece, but I liked it so much I ended up adding it to both sides of this piece. So I decided I was happy where everything was going, so I went ahead and adhered down that matte piece. And again, it has slight dimension to it. And using my Fabri-Tac, I'm going to add that second piece to the side. and adhere that down to my card base. I'm kind of fighting with my Fabri-Tac because it's at the very end of the bottle. I'll open up another bottle off screen here in just a moment. So here's where I decided I was looking at the two pieces and I didn't want that other piece to compete with the pattern in the back. So I went with the lighter piece that I had, just traced around it, cut it out, and now I'll add it to the back of my resin frame. Now I'm pulling out some of the leaves. Wild Orchid Crafts has tons of leaves to choose from all different sizes. And I'm using the, I believe they're the 20 millimeter leaves. I'm adhering down my resin frame and now I pulled out some of the flowers. This is a gorgeous mixed pink tea rose flower. That's gonna be my, my focal point. And I'm adding some gorgeous lilies to uh, 
both sides of that. I'm adding some white lilies and then just kind of tucking the leaves throughout. I wanted that pop of green. Wild Orchid Crafts also has white leaves to choose from, skeleton leaves, just lots to choose from. These are some of my favorite, the rose leaves. So I'm kind of undecided at this point where I wanted my sentiment to go. So I just kind of set it aside for now. I pulled out some ivory open roses, but I did not like the look of those. So you, even though I'm kind of testing them out here, I won't end up using those. I go back to my stash, pulled out some pink ones. And as I was there, I saw these light pink lilies and I knew these were going to be perfect for it. So I end up using these. These are the first time I've used these light pink lilies. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm just kind of spreading out the the uh, flower, adhering it down, kind of tucking it in and around. I like normally using my hot glue gun because once I press it down, it's adhered immediately. The Fabri-Tac does adhere pretty quickly, but not as instant as my hot glue gun, but I didn't have it heated up at the moment. So I know that the Fabri-Tac will hold it on well once it dries. So again, I'm going to tuck just a couple more leaves at the bottom there to get that color that green color at the bottom as well. And I pulled out some of this twine. I got this twine a long time ago. It's Baker's twine. Wrapped it around my finger a few times and now I'm just simply going to tie a knot in the center and that gives me the bow that I wanted. I'm going to cut the ends off so they are about the same size as the, the other ones. And now I'll just tuck it in between my flowers and adhere it down. I love the texture that it gives my card. And here's where I decided I was really happy with the sentiment to go right across that resin frame. So I'm just adding some glue at the bottom where I know it'll be touching and adding that down. And being that I did three layers of it, it's very sturdy and strong. So it'll, it'll hold up very well. And now I am simply scattering a few of the self-adhesive pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts in the white. Those also come in lots of colors as well. I like to kind of tuck them on top of the leaves, around the flowers. I tucked one inside the resin frame. I think they're a perfect touch to such a, a sweet, girly card. And I printed this out also from my computer. It's a um, sentiment that I got from the online silhouette store. And I wanted to just kind of frame it up. So I'm using a Micron pen and my T-square ruler to go around the edges here. And then I'll use my ATG and adhere that to the inside of my card and then I will sign it with my message and that finishes off my card. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please check out Wild Orchid Crafts. They have such amazing products and if you have any questions please leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.